Hi everybody, welcome back. So I, this is the first part of a new series I'm going to do where I'm going to focus week by week on mistakes that I've made in collecting. Uh, hopefully you'll find it uh, informative, amusing, painful. Uh, all three at the same time. I think it's difficult sometimes for us all to look at different uh, mistakes that we've made. No, no, no. <laughs> this one goes there. That one goes there. Right? I've made so many in my life. Uh, it seems like it's never ending. But uh, maybe if you watch some of mine, you'll learn something uh, or just think I'm an idiot. One of the two, one of, both. I don't know, you know, whatever. Okay, let's get right to it. I'll tell the story and then we'll talk about it. So first, so basically what happened was, is that uh, it was late at night and I was on my phone looking at Instagram and I saw this comic, which we all know, first appearance of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, etc. I w should have known, so there's two issues here. There's two issues. Number one, uh, they were selling it, I can't remember what it was, a couple hundred bucks or something like that, and said they had other um, X-Men uh, from, uh, from, you know, Silver Age X-Men. And so there's two issues. Number one, I was it was late at night. I was tired uh, on my phone. I could barely even see anything in bed buying comics, which is a mistake. I've, every time I've done that, I... <laughs> It's always gone bad for me. So that's the first mistake I made, um, I try not to make. Second is I know better. There's no way, there's no way you're gonna get a comic like this for 200 bucks or some sort of deal. It's just, you know, it's too good to be true. If it's too good to be true, it's, it's not gonna happen. It, it just doesn't work like that, we all know that. And uh, this was this was years ago, so it wasn't like I made this mistake yesterday. But so this was years ago, um, and I knew better even then. But I couldn't help myself, so I paid the guy a couple hundred bucks, and of course he disappeared. And he did send me something, so that was fun. I was excited, for, you know. He gave me a tracking number; it all smelled and looked good from that perspective. But no, it was it was a couple hundred dollars down the drain, and uh, and a lesson learned. Uh, early and that was some of the first comics I really started buying off of uh, Instagram and I've, I bought a lot now and obviously we have to, you have to be careful um, and, and try to buy from people that you know etc we all know that but that's the lesson here is uh, don't buy things in the middle of the night when you can't see straight and uh, if the deal seems too good to be true it really is and that's why you know, that's what I've been saying to people, you know, as they've seen these facsimiles online, is, you know, if you're seeing a Ultimate Fallout 4, you know, going for 50, 100, 200 bucks, and it looks like perfect, like a 9.8, there's no way, there's no way. Something's wrong, check the listing again, check the Instagram, you know, message the person, get more pictures, ask more questions, just don't hit that, just don't, pay them don't hit that buy button resist at all costs all right take care